What's going on everyone? I am Daniel Candia and today I'm here on an unboxing and review of a product that was sent to me. It's free for review from the company Saiku. And you can find it at Saiku.com as well as into the social networks which are gonna be located down below in my description box. So feel free to go check that out. And today Saiku sent me the Saiku USB 3.0 Super speed, 4 slots, 11 in 1, digital memory, card reader, and writer. And so we have the unboxing and review of this. So let's go and check this out. This is a really nice and portable product from Saiku. And this is going to help you for those that have want to have and don't have an SD slot in their computers. This is going to be helpful because this is going to connect into one of your USB ports in your computer or hub so for you to be able to read SD cards so let's go check this out as here in front we have the packaging and it's really nice it shows the product itself with the name the specifications and features it says it reads micro SD cards as well as regular SD, SD cards it has two and two so two for micro SD cards and two for regular SD cards uh, a USB 3.0 so that's gonna give you up to 5 gigabits per second speeds which is really nice so let's go and check this out back we have full specifications of this product as well as pricing pricing of this product is gonna be in the description as well as links to where you can buy it it's straight to Cycles website as well as into Amazon so feel free to go check that out so yeah I was showing you the specifications and the product and packaging is really nice and small so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be back in a second because I had to cut this open and show you the product. So I am back and I have opened this as in the video before I show you a USB hub with 7 ports. It is a hard packaging so you need to get a knife or scissors to open this in order to be able to get it out. So let's go and check this out. I have cut the, uh, all the packaging as you can see here. And we are able to take the... SD card reader and writer out of the packaging as well as the booklet or insert paper insert and see what the paper insert says so see if we have anything other than no so it was just this and that's all so let me show you this and this comes in a really nice matte finish on um, black with a I don't know it's really small cable and the end all the end is the USB 3.0 so here we have it in as I was telling you this is a really nice and portable design at all because as you can see let me bring my iPhone this is my iPhone 5s and this is how it looks well rather this way uh, this is the length of the cable probably about the length of a Samsung Galaxy S5 or Note and the product itself is a bit bulky I don't know if you can see that like right there but it is really small compared to other um, options that you may have it has four slots, two for micro SD cards, as well as two for regular SD cards. So if I show you a SD card right here, this is a regular SD card. Uh, let me see in which way would it go. I believe it goes in here. And what you do is you once you have it ready, you plug it, and it's right there, as you can see. In the other side, right here, there's nothing. In front of here, we have another port, which you can put this one as well, as you can see. Or in this one, you can put the little ones, the micro SD ones, which is really nice. So I'm going to give you some specifications about this. This has plug and play, and it means that there is like, without the need of a software or a installation processing, you just need to come plug this into available USB female port into your computer. Once you have that, 
you're able to plug this, the USB 3.0 mail, into your computer and you're ready to go. There is no other, other hard process than that, so that's really easy. Uh, and this is powered by the USB as well, so don't don't worry as if you don't need any extra uh, thing that's gonna go into your wall adapter. So you just need to plug this, and this gets powered by the USB port, so that's really nice. This is backwards compatible with um, USB 2.0 as well as USB 1.1, which is the oldest one. Uh, as I say, my computer is a bio, I, buy, I believe I got it at 2007 2008, and that's about I believe it's 2.0, 1.1. I'm not sure, but it's quite that. And I tried this, and it's, it actually works with that, which is really nice. Uh, once you connect this into your um, USB port and you decide to attach a SD card, it doesn't matter, SD card or micro SD cards, uh, once you plug that into the SD card hub, uh, your computer is going to recognize it right away, so there is no like, there is no process in you to go search for the SD card into the computer settings, so it's just going to pop out and show you that there is an SD card insert into your USB hub. This supports SDXC, cards up to two terabytes which is a lot of storage uh, I, I don't think it's the SD cards up to ter two terabytes because it, that's a lot that's pretty much a lot so I believe the highest that I had seen is the SDXC uh, that is 128 128 gigabytes which is a lot for me so that's what I have seen and also supports SDB 3.0 Point zero, which I really don't know what it is, and UHS slash I, the standard SD cards. I believe that's SDU, SDHU, or SDUHS. It's Ultra SD cards, which is just such as this one, which is this is a SD Sandisk Ultra, which is one one level previous than SDXC. So LED indicator. Let me show you if I, let me see if I see the LED indicator, which I didn't pay attention. Which well, it was it's probably this part right here that has the LED indicators, as you can see right there. So once that show that light up, it means if it is solid, it means it is uh, connected. If it keeps flashing, it means it is transferring some data. And I didn't mention this, but it also supports the micro SDXC cards, which is, I believe, the highest top of the line SD cards, XC. And it also supports MMC 4.4, which if any of you guys know what that is, please let me know in the comments. I, I couldn't find anything about the MMC uh, slash 4.4 cards. So let me know what that is. So that's pretty much it. it that's what it features. It's very simple. It's an SD card as well as a micro SD card reader. And it reads XC cards or SDXC or micro SDXC cards, which is the top high end cards. And it also reads SD cards up to two terabytes, which is a lot of data. So I'm gonna show you that this is a USB 3.0 plug. As you can see, it is blue from the inside. And what you want to do is once you have your computer, get your USB port, try to connect it there. And once you try to connect it there, you connect it um, immediately. If you have something connected and you open your computer, it will show in the screen that this is right there, which is very simple as that. Um, if you don't have anything connected, what you want to do is just slide one SD card or micro SD card into one of the ports available and that is gonna be all you gotta do once you connect an SD card it's gonna immediately show in your uh, computer that there is a external uh, drive connected into your computer which is really nice so I hope you guys like this video as it was right straight to the point it is an SD card reader as I say before a lot of times I uh, hope you guys like it. If you want and you are interested into this product, uh, feel free to go check out the links that I have down below in my description uh, to Amazon as well as to Cycle website, which there's not much difference. 
uh, it may vary. Um, Saiku's website may have it cheaper, or Amazon may have it cheaper. Actually, Saiku always uh, are, is battling with the prices, so yeah. I hope you guys like this video. As if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, as it's gonna really help me to bring more content. And if you guys uh, would like to support me more, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Daniel Candy 209 Tech. As if you do so, you're gonna be able to enjoy uh, more awesome content such as this one. So I hope you guys like it, um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, um, Saiku, and thank you to you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Peace.